folks look at here oh big stringer a crappie i'm catching a crappie <laughs> that's right night crawlers all right folks welcome to rocky drake outdoors i'm rocky drake hey i'm on these crappie like big time right now appreciate y'all tuning in let's get some fish mm, crappie there he goes there he is oh that's a bit i seen that one that was a great big crappie i'm talking about a big crappie big crappie y'all i'm telling you come up to the surface now seen him oh lord ain't no telling what's around that tree top right y'all i'm gonna start out i'm gonna put this cork about oh probably about 24 inches above the hook and the worm there i'm gonna start out right there you always want to fish above the crappie I ain't no crappie expert, but I do know that crappie feed up. They don't feed down. And uh, you want your, so you want your bait above, above the crappie. If that's what you're trying to catch. Uh oh, there he is. So what this is. Oh, we got a big crappie here now. Yeah, we got a big slab crappie. Look here. <laughs> I'm loving it. Look at here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I think put these on a stringer. By using a, a cork or a bobber or float, whatever you want to call it. There he goes. I missed him. Good Lord. Yeah. Oh gosh. I was gonna tell y'all something. Yeah, let me put more arm back on, I tell y'all. But what this does right here, this bobber, see, it's, it's a little bit bigger bobber than I really need, but I wanted to use this big one where y'all can see, see it real good. And uh, it, it, it fishes straight down below the bobber, see, and it, it, keeps that, it keeps that worm right there in the face of those fish. So they're going to swim around, swim around, swim around. Finally, they're going to look over there, and it just, it just sits there in front of them. So if they're suspended, you know what I mean, right in there about the depth, that's that. And they seem to be. Now the one thing this cork would do, it'll keep your it'll keep your bait up off the bottom and keep it from getting tangled up, hung up in them limbs underneath the water that comes off of that tree land right there. And there are several brush piles down in there. I've already tried it without a, a cork or a bobber and it don't seem to, I get hung up just about every time I throw out there. So um, this bobber right here keep you from doing that. Plus, I love to see that bobber go down. I love it. Like it's right here. Look at it, boy. Oh, Lord. One thing can get it. I'm going to let him take it. I got him. I missed him. Goodness. He got every bit of that. Look at that. He ate that whole big worm. He going to be hungry again for a week. Tearing me all to pieces. That was a whole night crawler that fish just ate. Without me kissing it. Cool. Sure. Okay. Let's get us. Ooh, just one little spot right there. Boy, oh, Lord, we've been catching that. There he goes, and I caught it. Oh, it's another big crappie. Oh, my gosh. No, would it? Yeah. Absolutely is. Crappie, look here. Golly. Look at that right there. Somewhere. He's right here, black crappie. Good. All right. Put him on the string right here. <clears throat> Give a sudden down here, somebody to talk to. Fishing with night crawlers, and I'm just hooking them a couple times. Kind of like that right there. It's kind of leaving them wiggly like that. See how they're kind of wiggly? And I'm just throwing it out there next to that treetop. Exactly right there where I'm just throwing it, right there where them forks come out. Like I say, all you gotta do when you bobber fish is to look somewhere else other than at the bobber and you'll get a bite. Happens every time. Now I watched a video that Richard Jean, the fishing machine friend of mine, put out. And he went crappie fishing throwing, using night crawlers and targeted crappie with night crawlers. So that's where I kind of got the idea of crappie fishing with night crawlers. I'll put a link to his channel here at the end of this video. You know, most time, them crappie boys, 
they're uh, <laughs> they're fishing with uh, them Bobby Garland jigs, different colors, underspins, and little minnows, small minnows, and this and that. You don't hardly ever see, I'd never see anybody fishing for crappie with night crawlers except Richard Jean, a fishing machine. Now, when he went and done that video that I watched, I said, well, I gotta try that. And that's what I'm doing right now, and it's working. Oh, Lord, it's working. <laughs> Stacked up out there. Fishing with a bobber and a cork. That's me right here now. I'm telling you, I love it. Here he goes. He's going under. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. Just got to let him take it. Most time when you miss them, they're, they're, most time that's little fish. A, a crappie's got a pretty big sight, pretty good mouth. They just come up and suck it in, and then that cork is. Just slowly disappear. You don't see the cork bob up and down two or three times. Most time they'll just come up and suck it in, take off with it, and, and then they'll start running. They, they fight a little bit different than a bluegill. By having a, a stifter rod like I got right here, you can jerk them out of the tree, out of them limbs a lot better. Uh, where if you had uh, little like, ultra light flimsy poles, they could get down in them limbs on you before you can get them up out of there. And get you hung up so probably a little stifter poe actually works better for this this rod right here is a it's a duck it, i mean it's the same one i bass fish with and it's a you know it's a medium heavy rod six six nine foot long i mean it's what i catch in big bass on and them stripe big stripe and, and i'm it's 30 pound test line right here and i got it like a 12 pound leader out there so not, not, not what you typically try to catch crappie with, that's for sure. Putting that fresh worm on. So I'm gonna leave them little hands that are kind of wiggly like that right there. I think that kind of excites them fish when they see them little wiggly. Hands right there wiggling around down there. Uh-oh, I think one sniffing. Yep. There he is. What do we got here? Oh, it's another crappie. Another one. Another crappie, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm having fun. Well, let's pull him up here. Oh, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> that's a big one there. I think that's probably, uh, you know, I don't have a measuring tape with me. Well, I guarantee you that crappie right there is at least 12 inches long maybe longer than that i'm gonna put him on the stringer over here look at that look at that catch more wire mm -hmm. thought they're catching nothing we fishing for dinner they ain't gonna stay out there long I love seeing that bobber go down. I rode, uh, to me, that's, there he goes. There he goes and I got it. Oh, it's another, oh, look. I think it's another big crappie. Oh, it is, it is another one. Look at that, another big crappie. <laughs> Seriously, y'all. That's it right there. Right there. There he is. Pulled it out of his mouth. See, every time I miss one like that and he gets that worm, he, it fills him up. He might not want to eat again. Look at that boy claim apply. I'm getting, I'm getting tore up, y'all. I can't, I can't help it. Just can't help it. Just hook him just like that. It's guaranteed lick right here. Y'all get ready. There he goes. There he got him this time. It's another big slap and crop. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. I mean, a big, beautiful, beautiful crop. Here he comes. I'm going I'm to pull him up. Look at what one. Good Lord. That there's got to be 14 inches long. Oh, Lord, he's a cut in two. I knew I'd get him in there now. I don't put him on the stringer. 
Cushka. Could y'all see that? I about kicked my stinking pole in. I almost said dirty word. Oh, I like a strain. I think I might strain some. Come here. Oh Lord. Yeah, big stranger crappie here. Folks, appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll see you next time.